Hello everyone and welcome to I Am God's Witness. Today, I have three more inspirational true angel stories. Our first story is from a man from Adelaide, South Australia, who has seen angels all his life. Our last two stories are amazing witnesses to the power of angels to help us in legal matters. Before I begin, be sure to check the video description for links to more information related to the topics discussed. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. It will help get our content recommended to more people on YouTube. Here's our first witness. Hi, I have seen angels ever since I was a little child. When I grew older, I told my mother about it, but she thought something was wrong with me and that I was different than the other children because I was so loving to everyone and oversensitive. When I was hurt, I felt strong hands around me, a kiss on my forehead and heard gentle speaking which comforted and motivated me. I'm now 30 and see a massive energy in me ready to explode. I see angels everywhere around me now, comforting and playing with me, making me laugh, wiping my tears when I'm sad and always guiding me. I clearly see white wings around me, hugging me tight, loving me, kissing me. I feel so blessed. They are giving me genuine guidance about my future. If I make a mistake, they correct me and explain the right way to me. I think there will be more things coming in the future as they have a lot in store for every one of us. They told me they speak to everyone, but many refuse to listen or they are influenced by Satan and so go ignored. They said they feel for everyone equally, but only if we ask them for help and we listen, they also warned me about dark angels. Angels speak to you directly or through dreams. If you believe in them, you can invite them into your life and they will be there for you. I know I'm well protected, guided and loved by angels. They are there with me all the time, even when I sleep. I love you, my angels, and trust you completely. Please help me always. Thank you for listening to my witness. Remember, we are equally loved by God. The angels are there for us. We just need to ask. God has given us the freedom to choose or refuse His angelic help. Thank you for sharing your wonderful angel experiences with us. It truly is a blessing when we can be so finely tuned to the level of consciousness that the angels operate on. Let us pray that we can come apart from the entrapments of this world that cloud our spiritual vision, prevent us from seeing God's angels all around us. For our next story, an attorney calls to the angels to bring peace in a tense situation. Here's what he wanted to share. I am an attorney and one day I was in a mediation session when things became very heated. Suddenly, one of the lawyers on our side started arguing violently with one of the attorneys from the other side. It quickly went from bad to worse. People screaming at each other, shouting obscenities, shoving chairs and the table at each other. I had recently heard somewhere that we could ask our own angels to bring quiet, and so I very quickly asked any and all angels assigned to me to reduce the noise and violence. Within a few seconds, both yellers stopped and looked around, and the situation suddenly de-escalated. At the time, it seemed like it must have been a coincidence, but I tried it in similar circumstances over the next few months and it always worked. I even asked the angels for peace when I would hear neighbors shouting in my housing complex and becoming verbally violent. Things quieted down very soon, every single time. I have called to my angels 100 times or more over the last 15 years and they have never ignored my requests for help. Quite remarkable. Thank you for that great story. The call to your angels really does compel the answer. In our last story, a lady shares her amazing story about how Archangel Michael saved her husband from false accusations, indictment and prison. Here's what she said. My family has been going through an extremely stressful time for nearly two years. My husband was falsely accused of wrongdoing on his job by individuals who had been harassing him for years. The administration was connected to a high-ranking police officer whose services were enlisted to actually have my husband arrested and brought up on trumped-up charges that, if convicted, could lead to a mandatory five-year sentence. He has received no pay for two years. It has been devastating. We had tried to fix the matter with lawyers, senators, the governor, etc. 
all along I had been praying for resolution and restoration. This past summer, I kept getting the name Michael in my head. I honestly did not understand what it meant. The night before the indictment was to be disclosed, we were insane with worry because our lawyer was not hopeful. I finally connected Michael with Archangel Michael. At 3 a.m., I awoke and knew to pray for Archangel Michael to do battle for us. I also asked for a sign that he had heard me. All of a sudden, I began to see, and I was fully awake, a great battle in midair between angelic and demonic beings. I shook my head and rubbed my eyes, but the scene kept coming back to me. It began to frighten me, so I woke up my husband and told him and had him remain with me. The next day, the lawyer called us and said that the indictment was off and that the prosecutor's office intended to conduct their own investigation. We were speechless. We knew that Michael had intervened. Still, I did not know Michael's ranking in the spiritual realm. My sister told me, didn't you know that Michael is the most powerful angel, the head angel who does serious battle, the big guns? I honestly did not know, but I was led to bring him into this battle. It is exciting, fun, and awesome to interact with the angels. I want everyone to know the power they possess and how they have changed our lives. They wait to be invited into our lives to help. I can personally attest to it. Try it. Thank you for sharing your story. For more information about Archangel Michael and how to call to him for help in your life, check out the links in the video description. Thank you for listening to our witnesses. I hope these stories brought you hope and faith that God is real and sends his angels when we need them in our lives. If you liked what you heard, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Doing so will help get these stories to more people on YouTube.